Welcome to Loeza, Puerto Rico's Afro-Caribbean gem where vibrant culture meets delicious cuisine. Let's get into the flavors and traditions that make this town unique. Today, Travelogies and Puerto Rico, so let's check it out. What's up, everyone? We're here in Puerto Rico. I think we're day four or five. I don't know. I forget. But we're on our way to El Yunque, and we heard there's a lot, a lot of Creole and Afro-Latino inspired food. And this is where uh, the majority of the Afro-Latinos are over here in Louisa. So we're ready to check it out. We're going to stop by and eat all the food that we see on the way that's like Creole inspired or anything that you know, maybe a little Afro-Latino and just a little bit different than the actual authentic Puerto Rican food that we're all used to. So follow along. Number one, we left uh, San Juan. We're only about 20 minutes out of San Juan. Off the freeway right here, we spotted comida criolla, and that was a sign that it's uh, food, Creole food. So we wanted to stop in and see what the menu looked like. To our surprise, there's no menu and there's nothing you can even scan for a menu. He did say we could check out his Facebook, but we didn't, we just started to talk to him and he basically let us know everything that's on the menu. When we did get in here, there was people already driving out. There's nothing open in this area besides his store. And right Freaking now, open, you know, I'm so sure that all of these cars are in and out for his food. Almost sold out, so I'm super excited that we got a chance to be able to try out whatever it is that he's gonna give us. I believe we ordered some like the kan kan, which is the pork, uh, like the the rib, the rib. So I don't know if it's gonna look like that. I don't know exactly what we ordered. We're gonna check it out. Basically, we walked in. There was a crowd of people in there. Once we got up, he told us there's no menu, and this is what he has left on the menu. So I just feel like it's a fresh, fresh, fresh restaurant, and I'm super excited to try our first little bit on today's journey you know creole food adventures on the way to el Yunque. so let's see what it looks like because like your girl is busting a sled outside i need to get my google real quick and we'll be back inside we just made it inside this is what it looks like inside pretty nice looking they made it pretty nice but for as much food as they're selling it was pretty it is pretty empty in here it probably gets more packed in the nighttime el, el pulpo en el vaso el pulpo ensalada pero es como con no está bueno. Dígame despacio. Tacos de calamar. No, no, es taco de calamar. El pulpo. No es el pulpo calamar. Oh, y te dicen que es pulpo. Oh, so a lot of people here will say you calamar. Si el cante es pulpo así. ¿Qué tiene? China, pues, si se ve, ¿no? Uva. China es naranja, ¿verdad? Sí, pero es de lata. Ok, so, naranja, 7-Up. Pues, sí. Mm. Agua. Uva. Nada, nomás la comida. ¿Te lo traes? ¿Te lo mm. ¿Tiene Agua. una bebida puertorriqueña? ¿Una soda puertorriqueña? No. ¿Nada local? Una coca. Pues, sí. Pues, sí. Okay. Okay. ok, gracias. Gracias. Ok, a usted. Oh shit, gracias. Hey, look at that piece of album. Oh, habichuelas? Solo, solo, cuando estoy listo. Damn, muchas gracias. Dang, so alright, we just got our plate and tell me a little bit more about it. Well, I'm like, this is going to be my first bite of the, this is their avocado roll. Look at how big this avocado is. <laughs> like, for real. Where have you gotten an avocado this big? Only in Puerto Rico, baby. No, that I'm really excited about. Tell me about the puro. The chicharron. The gangan. So these are little pizza also bit. Like, this chicharron, right? Like, the chicharron. And this is the tostones. Five banana? Right. Is it? Do you have a banana? I think it's platano. Is it platano or yuca? Pana. Pana. Pana? Pana. 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 Pana.
¿Qué dije yo? ¿Brother? ¿Brother? Oh. Tostones. Tostones. Oh, banana. banana. And they give you that with everything, thousand items. Let me try one of these. Man, look at that. Perfect, crispy on top, medium on bottom. So this is cut all the way through the dermal, all the way to the meat, and they fry this. Most people dip it in this sauce. Yeah, the dermal's like the top of the skin, top of it. Oh my God, I do that a 10 already. He fried that to perfection. <laughs> wow, he fried this to perfection. Look at that. Hot, crunchy, chewy, savory, tasty. My God, that's good. Mm. Check this video. I like when I have the crunch of the skin and the softness of the meat. And back here. Grandpa's water and oil. It's a water one. You couldn't type the roll with a plastic fork like I just did. So I'm excited to try this. Definitely water avocado. And I'm actually a fan of this one. Just put a little bit of salt and pepper could be a great breakfast. Let's try it with. Nice. How's the toston? Smash banana, yuca, or breadfruit. We don't know which one it is. If anybody knows in the comments, let us know. But I'm gonna give it a try. We think it's I think it's yuca. She thinks it might be banana or breadfruit. And the guy said something, but I didn't really understand because they talk kind of fast here. It's kind of hard to understand a little bit sometimes. And I feel like it's kind of rude to keep asking them to tell me again. Mmm. I lie, whatever it is, it's good. It tastes like fish almost. You think so? This is a bacalao. Okay. I don't think so. All right, well, we're headed to the next spot or the jungle, and we'll see you there.